Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. But for those of you who may not be doing well after we're in these energies and you feel like you're in another go around in the spin cycle, um, this is uh, a message for you. This is some of what you need to know about this. First of all, one thing that I would like to say is this year is going to be very different than last year. The bar is being raised. It's time to start taking this seriously. So if you've been kind of tinkering around and dabbling around or even deciding that, well, maybe I'm not a twin flame, it's not for me, guess what? Your body's going to take over on it. If you're not sure, if you're on a twin flame journey, you probably are. And there will be things that you uh, experience that you might think have nothing to do with love, but it has everything to do with your twin flame journey. So to get started, what I want to talk to you about is this is an energy where not only are you helping each other connect the dots, but it's going to be a lot of how your masculine feels. Okay. So let me preface this by asking you a few things. Some of you may feel like you're on a negative plateau, okay? Nothing's going right for you. All of your powers of manifestation seem to have dwindled, but there's a component to it that has to do with your health. You feel like you're getting sick. You feel like things make you queasy, ill, throw up, things like this. Do you have a high anxiety are you feeling a vague desolation or a vague sense of your existentialism? You know, do you feel like you're wondering, why do I exist? Uh, I don't know if any of this is real. Do you feel a vague sense of danger? Are you wondering about love that has been painful? Is there painful love, unrequited love, oppression? Do you feel like there's people inside you? And anguish, mental anguish, you're conflicted. Are there complications in your life that you feel don't belong there? And the last thing, can this feel like a dark night of the soul or are you sensing it from the other side? And what do you do? How your masculine feels. Because you're going to begin feeling, if not already, some of the things that are very specific for both of you. You might not know what, what it is. And the connecting the dots is not with the mind. Once again, it's not with the mind. It is with the body. It is connecting the things that need to clear for sure. And some of this will involve breakups. But some of these breakups are going to be hard, very hard. So the first thing to let you know is your twin flame is inside you. But your guts will puke out the fear. Have you been having queasiness here or here or anywhere here? Have you felt queasy? Have you felt like throwing up? Do you actually puke or do you go around going, hmm, and you're not sure if you're going to? Well, let me tell you what that is. That's fear. That's how fear comes out because that's how fear has been suppressed. Fear has been suppressed. And if you go to war, if you have to kill someone, if you're going to get killed, the natural process of your body is to empty itself and run. Um, many people haven't done that uh, or they've been shot in the back or some other thing that has happened to them when they're supposed to stay put. People have learned to overcome this. But this is a time when you will uh, feel like you're puking it out or you will. How do you help your gut get healthy again? Because a lot of people do not have healthy processes in their stomach, in their digestive system, in their endocrine system. Okay, You help your twin by helping you. So if you feel a reflection of this or if you are actually experiencing it, it's time to come join and time to get on board with what is going on so that you can uh, get better and that you can learn how to maintain. Because while you might go to a doctor to learn how to get better, 
You have to come to the metaphysician to learn how to maintain yourself. And that's me. So I am doing this from a much higher dimensional level than a lot of people may realize. What this does entail is that uh, you are releasing things that are beyond your control. You can't control it with your mind. You will not control the speed at which it happens. You won't be able to say no to it. It just takes on. And it will keep going until things are able to be cleared. Okay. Have fears created a monster inside? I once had this conversation with a friend. We were going to go move some furniture. And I just related this story in my webinar over the weekend. And he was a male friend. And he said, what do you do to keep your rage monster tied up? And I had never thought about it because it, I've been working on this. This was a few years ago. So we were both kind of feeling a little macho. We're going to go move some furniture and, you know, buddy, buddy. But he felt comfortable to start talking about this with me. And I found it interesting that he related uh, the, his emotions to a monster that lives inside him. Not only did that monster live inside him, he had to keep that monster chained up most of the time. What if that's your twin? Okay, I happen to know that my friend was a twin flame. He wasn't my twin, but he himself was a twin flame. What happens on the other end with his female twin flame when he's keeping that all chained up? You know, keeping it on a leash, trying to control it, but it's still inside. You're inside each other. What do you do about that? So there are things that will happen to you on this journey that are intended to help you get healthy and to help you have harmony. Okay. You may not think of a healthy gut as far harmony, but it is. And it goes beyond that because there are points where you alchemize your love and you have to do it. So have fears from your past lives created a monster that's living in either one of you? Is it creating a monster that you feel like you're dealing with? Okay. I hear this a lot from people, not in my sessions, but actually I see it, you know, out there. It's in Twin Flame Landia. My twin is this, my twin is that. Well, what are you doing to help them? Because if you're not helping, then you're creating the same situation as Munchausen by proxy. And you're keeping your twin sick. It's that simple. You're looking for sympathy and maybe you've been abused. But you see, the two of you may have been abused. More than likely, you've both been abused. And when you get to the bottom layers of things, you will find that that person is, they're scared, okay? So how do you get this stuff moving? All these things that I mentioned to you, oppression, vague desolation, danger, fears, anxiety, financial fears, fears of people. How do you get off that negative plateau? How do you shift them out of a dark night of the soul? How do you prevent it from happening? How many Cycles do you want them to tumble around in? And I hear what some of you are saying. You're saying, you know, I've said this to their face. No, you said it to their ego. I have recommended things. Okay, if you are saying it, you're saying it to their ego. Their ego will not be able to sort it properly. These The areas that will be affected during this energy are the stomach and the head. And this will include knee-jerk reactions. And this equals having no restraint. So it's time for your light body focus. That's what's new for this year. This year is a focus on the light body and feeling each other. This goes beyond telepathy. And you'll find that the telepathy starts to diminish. I'm going to answer another question for you. Some of you will say, I feel like my twin wants me to reach out. That reaching out he has to be through the heart communication, through the high heart communication. Doesn't mean pick up the phone because you're going to wind up getting a phone call that you're rolling the dice on. 
you're you're you have to be prepared to expect anything if you're doing that. You can't expect, you know, maybe not a favorable outcome, possibly a favorable outcome. If you're not preparing yourself metaphysically, you are missing the point of this whole thing that is happening. Um, that is actually something that someone brought up in my class. They were very aware of, you know, there's a thing happening. Yes, there is a plan. There is a timeline of events by which things are intended to happen by. If people balk on it, that's on them. It's not because things haven't been set up or set into place or where the door has been made wide open and other do doors have closed. So this eclipse portal of energy that we just went through is for the conclusion of karma. You can say goodbye to things, lick your wounds, and get better. I know that sounds very simple, okay? Stomping your feet about it isn't going to get it done. Doing it and doing the light body work is what gets it done. So you've either been playing at love or you're here to be in love. And the bottom line is you've already been in love and you've been playing with soulmates usually through several lifetimes. A big piece of what this portal is closing the door on is the great disentangling. There is a huge disentangling going on amongst people and it is very confusing. So to give you an example of this, okay, I have so many examples because sometimes I just overhear things and I'm like, ooh, bingo. So let's say that, you know, someone meets someone and the feel of the meeting is entirely different. And that person decides to check it out because suddenly they're feeling something that they have never felt maybe in this life or maybe in a really long time. This happens a lot with women who've been in marriages and they've compromised and compromised and compromised until they've lost themselves. It happens to men when they give and they give and they give and they've compromised and they lose themselves in work and relationships and they forget who they are. And suddenly the universe finds them. The universe says, wake up. You're here for love. And they feel something. Then they decide to check it out. Then they decide that there's a bunch of stuff that, wow, I had no idea. What does this do for the person? It gives them hope. It lights them up. It keeps them putting one foot in front of the other with hope for something better for themselves. Okay. A lot of you were there. You were there in 2011. You were there in 2013 or 2015 or 2017 or 2018. You went through it, but now the bar is being raised on you. Some of you are just going to see that happen for people. And it's going to be delightful because you'll see family and friends suddenly become smitten by someone. And while you might play spot the twin flame and like, ooh, they're twin flame. Ooh, that feels like twin flamey energy. Ooh, they're twin flame. A lot of people do that. I know people that do it. You could sit at the airport and spot the twin flames. Go to the grocery store and you're bored and you're just like, oh, let me just play spot the twin flames in this crowd here. Okay, maybe you're good at it, maybe you're not good at it, but a lot of people do it. So you can't weigh in on their relationship because that may be something that that person has needed in lifetimes. Now, we don't like to wish the negative on people, but people pass through it. The only way is through. The only way to ditch what's been embedded is to get through it and get it out. And that's what this energy is all about. So it's time to start attending the school. It's time to come to school on some of this. Because if you're going to be in your mastery, if you're going to be a sovereign being, which you are intended to be, if you are intended to create and do your mission, what you call do your mission, which I call the calling of the heart, if you are going to 
prepare something to put out there that people will love or people will need or it fills a niche or something, you can't just go ta-da because you're not going to set up the proper structure. There is a proper structure and your body is the main way that you structure it because your body is how you're going to do anything. Your light body and the subtle bodies are how you start to manifest and create your new life. So we say manifest. That's the act of receiving. The other part is the creating. You are creating at an entirely different level than ever before. And some of you are walking the tightrope between here to here, between the two levels, between the two realms. You're in the transit and, you know, some of this energy has made you feel like motion sickness, motion sickness, like ooh, you're on the train, you're on the cruise ship, you know, you're suddenly, here you are, boom, and there you go. And you're, you know, not sure what's going on. And you're saying, what does this have to do with love? My goodness gracious. What does it have to do with love? Well, what it has to do with is, I'll show you from my first book, Your Subtle Body Connections. So this is, this is the main reason. Your Subtle Body Connections, okay? And it has to do with your ascendancy. So that's my second book, Twin Flame Ascension and Breath, book two. And I will have other books coming out. In fact, the next book is very close. So what else can you have for supporting yourself? I am doing an online webinar class. Uh, there's The first part is on Friday, February 1st. That's a Friday evening. So this works well for people in Australia, the West Coast of the United States, Hawaii, India. Um, where else do people call in from? Korea, Malaysia, Vietnam. Um, sometimes if people get up in the middle of the night, you know, it'll be the United States, South America, Peru, Colombia, Ecuador. So this was a good time for that, but you're welcome to join either one. The link is below. Or Sunday, it's my Sunday morning, but this makes sense for uh, countries such as Turkey, um, Kuwait, Greece, France, the UK. Forgive me if I'm not mentioning your country, and please don't take it personally. So the EU, anywhere in the EU, anywhere in the um, countries of Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, and Iceland. I haven't seen Iceland in a while, but I sure would like to again. But that's at 9 a.m. That would be your afternoon or early evening. That might make sense for you on a Sunday. To come and find out and get support, ask some questions. The um, other classes that I have, I will be having monthly webinar classes and I will be having um, live classes every month too. Live hands-on class in Chicago, February 16th and 17th. So if you've ever wanted to you know, find out more in a live hands-on way where I work with you on a one-to-one -one basis and it's in a you know, small group a manageable group, uh, come and find out. If you're interested in that, see the links below. Reach out to me with an email if you have questions on it. And, you know, flights into Chicago are pretty reasonable. You can reach me for questions at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. So during this energy, I'm going to kind of bring this back to um, Twin Flame. So there's a lot of things that people talk about out there. And I hear a lot of things from people. But what I don't hear is that it's twin flame specific. My work is twin flame specific, which means that I feel two people's energies. I feel two people. I feel two people's energies. I feel two people's mental and emotional areas. But here is the thing that is what I'm able to do. I am able to heal and feel from a higher dimensional level than ever before. 
And that gets things moving because that is what helps people cut through stuff. You can get things done in a much quicker, simpler way through some energetic sessions, through the energy work and learning about your light body. And I am the teacher of it. I'm not only a teacher, I am a guide. My energy leads by energetic example. So the session goes on and you get a very holistic approach with everything and how to help your twin because sometimes that's opposite. Okay. One of you is puking out your guts here. The other one is feeling anxiety, you know, and it's, it's very odd because people say, what's my twin going through? What is my twin thinking? When are we going to see each other? Well, if you want to see each other, you know, as a healed person, as a person who is healthier, that's part of the plan also. So there are time frames by which certain things are intended to happen so that couples can be together, so that you can be successful in your union, and that you can maintain. Union means unifying yourself into one unit. Like when you hear the word union, think of the word unit because it is a partnership. It's no longer a relationship. And that's why, you know, male female relationships are do take a toll on people. Family relationships and patterns take a toll on people. Ancestral relationship patterns take a toll on people. And it's exhausting. So if you would like to uh, find out about this, there will be a link below for it, for that one, for that one. Keep watching my website because this is where I update. And pretty soon I will have the new, uh, the new launch of my improved website here at Twin Flame Body. Twinflamesmerge.com. I have quite a bit of pre-recorded information on webinars on many, many topics, many, many things that uh, people suffer through. If you are not sure, write to me because as much as I try to put the description there, you might hit it and find that you need something or you need the information. Also, have an energy session with me. We cut through so much stuff in one hour, slightly over an hour. And I believe in, you know, giving it the time it needs so I don't get to an hour and turn off the valve and say, enough, we're done. Um, we A lot of times I go slightly over and... You know, this is this is going to keep going for people because the process is a process. I remind everyone it is a process. The things that make you feel like you might be going crazy, you're not crazy. And if you're saying, where's my new normal? You Right now, you probably should say, how does my twin flame feel? So even though I'm saying masculine, this is energy that is very much affecting the masculine. Okay. Masculine can be mostly men, but it can also be females that embody the masculine energy. It can be gay males and it can be lesbian males. So it's not just men, although men do have a large majority of the things that they're going through. And, you know, I've, I've heard from a lot of people, they feel a sense of impending doom, a sense of shame or guilt a sense of abandonment, a sense of fears that they don't even know where it's coming from that lead to the anxiety. I know what all of this is. I know how to get it shifted and moving. So thanks so much for watching. I hope to see some of you in my class. Um, I do intend to have the classes ongoing because I. this is what I do. This is what I do. I'm not dabbling in it. This is actually what I am dedicated and devoted to. Thank you to everyone who has bought my books. I hope that you enjoy it and find it helpful. I will be having more information that comes out to be helpful for you because there will be several portals of energy this year, even though there's hardly any retrogrades. Those retrogrades were like a pushback to, you know, line things up so that you could sort it and have some way of getting some things done. And 
You're going to find out that this is the year for getting certain things done. One of the things you have to become adept at is your light body. It's very different. If I hadn't been living through it and documenting it and formatting it into webinars, I wouldn't have even believed it if someone told me. So I'm not asking you to just believe it. I'm asking you to come and try. Come and find out. Come and get it moving. Come and find out what's new because it will not only open your mind, it will open your heart and you'll be able to help your twin flame in the twin flamey way, not in the human way. Because some of you, you're just not human. You're not only human. You're not simply human. You're angels. You are angels and you're talking to angels and those angels themselves too, a lot of them, not all of them are themselves twin flames. So your twin flame angelic, it's time to behave like it. You have your angel body, you have your human body. You have both. Plus you got your twin flames. That's a lot. That's a lot. So come and find out. Keep the love flowing. Keep the love going. And as I say, keep the love in. Okay? Make the universe of yourselves what you want it to be. Make the love between you two reciprocate. Where it's so intimate and loving and sweet and harmonious that you'll wonder how you ever did without it or why you ever thought something else could take its place or someone could take their place. So thanks so much for watching. I do look forward to seeing a lot of you and the session that would be helpful for you is either the um, Psyche Body Session, Psyche, or the Causal Body. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, and I will be back with more. Bye.